Hey, the Clem here with uh, another shirt change. All right, I was trying to figure out why I was having such a tough time getting through this because um, I've played this song forever. Um, I mean, 20, 25 years, and I finally decided I've always played it along with the album, and not not very often with a band. And so when you're listening to the album, the solos just fall into place. And if if you have the chops, if you work it up, you'll be able to play along with the recording. But if you're in a band playing, play your own solos. Play the themes. They're great themes. It's an incredible song. But just play the th play your own solo. Be your own person. If you watch all those old Kissology videos, Ace playing something different almost every time. Okay, rock and roll one time. Two fingers helps. He's repeating. And you really only have to hit the first note if you want to be a guitar hero. Do all, all the others hammer-ons, make a big scene out of it. Or turn one pickup off and that works that way on a switched guitar. Okay, Gene does. Paul comes in a little on the quiet side, less pickup. You can do the Angus Young if you want to. Bass comes in loud and clear. Okay, there's a little syncopated. Then eventually he both he and Paul. Higher. Ace goes up to an octave. Okay. When you, if you've never done it before, it's hard to do, but eventually it just falls into place. Um, great technique would be picking every note. Steve Morse, Joe Satriani, but the style of Ace and Angus Young is more of a pick, pick. Something like that. Then the ending. Little country lick. It's kind of hard to play. If you like Eric Johnson, I can never do that, but you hold the pick and you still grab other notes. It's great technique. Okay, Paul probably big A. Ace, I think he's doing a, uh, which would be just a seventh chord. A, low A, A, C sharp, G, it's a seven. Kiss loves you. Rock and roll. Have a good time.